Claudia, you're head of the South Asia department at KFW Development Bank and at the same time you serve as key account to the Green Climate Fund, GCF. What type of projects is the GCF looking for? You know, the GCF has established a set of criteria, in total six main criteria to better understand the funding priorities of the fund. However, we have seen that two criteria are really essential. First is paradigm shift, second country ownership. With regard to paradigm shift, this is really a new development because GCF, together with the financing partners of GCF, want to help to change the economic patterns in the countries toward climate change investments. Second is country ownership. The country ownership has always been there, but now the focus is really on the country, the country sitting in the driver's seat to take the decision to implement the projects and to make their own societies and economies more res resilient towards climate change. Obviously, it is early in the day for the Green Climate Fund. Um, what role do you see for the GCF in a few years from now? And what role do you see for KFW in working with it? You know, KFW, we are very proud to have been one of the first accredited entities together with some other international finance institutions and country uh, partners. And uh, also recently in, in, the, in the board meeting by end of last year, a uh, first funding proposal proposed by KFW and the Bangladeshi government has been approved by the board. So KFW and KFW management really places a very, very high importance on GCF because GCF is intended to be innovative, to set up new structures in international development financing. And we are very happy to be there from the very beginning to develop this type of project. Specifically, what do you expect the GCF to do? I mean, there are huge targets in the room, in the press, always the 100 billion US dollars are mentioned and GCF has got a very good endowment from uh, industrialized countries, but still it's a long way to go to reach the, the 100 billion US dollars. And to achieve this, we definitely need, need the private sector coming in and uh, private sector and paradigm shift is something new. So we need all the efforts from KFW, but also from other development institutions to make this happen and especially to leverage the funds and to leverage the capital because only if we manage to ground in the private sector, which is a priority of the GCF, we can reach the goal set. And I think KFW has demonstrated in the past that we have a very strong expertise in bringing in private sector. We have structured several funds in the past. So I think we are in a good position to partner with GCF in this regard. What do you think uh, need um, board members, donors, accredited entities, uh, what do they need to do to get the GCF uh, where we want it to be? Definitely we need innovative idea, but a part of this we also need concessional funding. Um, we need uh, GCF taking risk uh, of private investments mainly. We need a high flexibility in solutions and processes, procedures, because we are there to create new business models. So you don't know everything from the very beginning, so you have also to try some new business models, especially to reach the paradigm shift. So um, currently GCF is a little bit cautious to provide grants uh, to the partner countries or to the accredited entities in general. So only for um, non-income generating activities in least developing countries, grants have been provided. I think here we need a definitely a little bit more of flexibility with with the funding structures. Otherwise, I believe it's difficult to bring in uh, private partners because also they are very cautious in taking risks, especially in, in, in climate investment when it comes to very innovative projects. So if we want to have innovative projects, a paradigm shift, we definitely need a blend between concessional funds and private funds. On the other hand, what I think is very important is we have all to team up strongly and move ahead together. Uh, otherwise, it's very, very difficult to achieve the huge target set by the international community. 
How can the GCF be supported on its ambitious way? I mean, it's, it's on a good way. The structures, the main structures are there, but still GCF probably needs some time to develop the procedures and also the partner countries, coming back to the country ownership. To, to some countries, this type of procedures are new. So also there still, we need some more experience how this can be done and implemented. And I think the key point is really implementation at high quality and sustainability, because otherwise uh, we can't make the change together, which is definitely needed. Thank you very much, Claudia.